Now, rust is a terrible thing. Once it appears, you know you're in trouble. It's not just gonna disappear or fall off magically. No, nope, none of that. It's not that common these days on modern bikes, modern pieces of equipment, but it can still happen. Or maybe, in fact, you've got an old part that you're trying to restore to its former glory. Let's see if we can combat it. So, how can we actually get rid of rust? Well, you could try keeping your bike clean and dry at all times. Not that practical though for those of us who like to ride a bike, is it? Especially if you ride it a lot. However, today we're gonna see if we've got two products that are available worldwide, or practically anyway, I think there's a couple of countries that don't sell one of the products, and they're also available at a very low cost. So today we're gonna see if this white vinegar or this sparkling soft drink with vegetable extracts can bust the rust or just clean it off. So what are you gonna need for this? Some of this, a very well-known soft drink. If you can't get that, which is quite surprising, I think there's only two countries in the world that don't sell it. Some of this, white vinegar, available in grocery stores and supermarkets worldwide. Not a problem with that. A little container to put the fluid into, some aluminum foil or aluminum, and an old toothbrush always comes in handy. So first up, I'm gonna try the soft drink. And the method, very simple, you simply pour it into a little container. It's pretty cheap, so you can put in a fair bit. Rip off some of your foil. Fold it up a little bit. You want the shiniest side facing outwards. Dip it into the soft drink, and then simply a case of rubbing it onto the part where the rust is. Now the level of rust will determine how much elbow grease or how much effort you're gonna to have to put into it, but you will see straight away that that rust comes off very easily. So just keep going and soon it'll all come off nicely. Right, so I've got this soft drink, I've got the aluminium foil, I've got a rusty bike. Let's see if we can get rid of that rust. As you can see, I found another rusty old relic. I'm gonna see if the soft drink can get rid of the rust of Mr. Tom Last bike. Now, if you've got some small parts that are heavily corroded with rust, it may well be worthwhile actually just putting them in, submerging them for a few hours, and then removing them. And then with a toothbrush and your foil, actually working that around and trying to get that rust off. Helps actually get into all those nooks and crannies of the parts. So once you're finished, make sure that you give whatever it is you've been busting the rust from a good clean with water and dry it thoroughly. I have actually heard of things being dissolved if it's left in this for too long. It's quite scary really. Okay, so next up is the white vinegar. It's exactly the same process as the soft drink. It's simply a case of pouring it into a container. And then I recommend actually for this, wearing a glove, because the vinegar does kick off a fair bit. And you don't want your hands smelling of that. It's not pleasant. And then get yourself that tin foil, or aluminum foil, aluminum foil, whatever you want to call it. Dip it in the vinegar, and then simply rub it onto the rust affected area and it will come off with ease. I'm here with Dan Lloyd's very own Schwinn Stingray. You may well recognize it from one of the GCM videos. He's got a bit of rust here on his rear fender. So I'm gonna see how the white vinegar tackles it. Watch to find out. Now for reference, for something like this, stainless steel bolt, I wouldn't bother. I would just go out and buy some new ones. It's much quicker, it's much easier, and you're not gonna get the same results as going out and buying some new ones. However, where I can recommend it is if you've got some bigger parts, some vintage parts, maybe an uncommon thread size, it's worth giving it a go. However, just be very cautious. The vinegar, as well as the soft drink, has a very high content of acid, so that can actually tarnish or damage the products. And as previously said, if submerged for too long, it could actually dissolve it. 
so you don't want that happening. If you've got a vintage part, an old part, something that's valuable, basically if you can't afford to lose that, then don't submerge it for too long. A short while, maybe an hour, hour or two, something like that, you'll be fine. But any longer than that, don't hold me responsible. So I want to hear how you combat rust with or without household products down in the comments below. Remember to like and share this video. In fact, share it with a friend who's got a rusty bike or anything rusty for that matter. Click here to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network. And for two more great videos, how about clicking down here for Retro Tech with Matt and I, and down here for how to revitalize your paintwork.